this is the sample report of a urine routine microscopy analysis where you are seeing the report being given under the following headings physical examination chemical examination and the microscopic examination today the topic of discussion is related to the one of its component under the microscopic examination which is the urine epithelial cells we will see a short review on this subtle information that we will get from the urine routine microscopy analysis most of the labs give the urine routine microscopy also called as urine rm under the following headings which is the gross appearance and the finding another the most important one where most of the samples being sent for this is the protein excretion and the sugar excretion and third one in the microscopic examination puzzles and the rbc carries the most important value that most investigations being done for here you can see some component called the epithelial cells which is given under the values as 0 to 1 hpf hpf is the high power field so these are all the tests which are being done under the microscopic examination where under the high power field how many epithelial cells they have seen i usually mention it automated machines are also available for this but most of the labs they do under the microscopic examination and comment it on this one another sample report where they have mentioned six to eight epithelial cells per high power field and they have given the normal reference range also few pap few labs give the normal reference range few might not give only the values might be there so what are these epithelial cells epithelial cells are nothing but the lining cells in the the cells which lines the cavity or especially in the urine routine microscopy report that lines the urogenital tract or the tract which with which the urine being generated and passes out from the kidney ureter bladder and the urethra this is what the epithelial cells these are the lining cells so in the urine the epithelial cells if it is present where are all it can come from it can come from the renal tubular epithelial cells or it can come from the transitional epithelial cells which are in the pelvic alicyl system and the lower tract and the bladder transitional epithelial cells or renal tubular cells or from the below the bladder where the skin and these genital tract being connected there the squamous cells which are lining in the lower urological tract where squamous cells can be seen so from this area these epithelial cells can come so epithelial cells in the urine can of three types one is the squamous cells which usually on the lower urinary tract transitional cells mostly from the bladder and third one is the renal tubular cells so these are all the three cells which can be found in the urine what is the normal limit that we can accept in the urinary sample is up to 15 cells per high power field is acceptable up to 15 cells per high power field depends on the type of cell in the urine it will add clue to the diagnosis it won't give any direct diagnosis it will just add clue to the diagnosis this is possible that is possible like that and in the report they won't mention what is the type of cell only if you get to know what is the type of the cell you will able to make the diagnosis so let us see since squamous cells are there in the lower urinary tract 
or where the skin being connected so whenever there is a high values of this most of the time indicate contamination of the urine whenever there is a high values in the transitional epithelial cells it might be a sign of uti or it might be sign of some malignancy for example a bladder malignancy cystitis any pathology related to the transitional cell epithelial tract for example a 60 year old patient presented with fever lower urinary tract symptom most likely it could be due to uti renal tubular epithelial cells presence indicates there is some renal involvement in the form of damage to the kidney mostly the tubular cells are shut down that means tubular necrosis or tubular injury might have happened this can be seen in variety of renal conditions where most of the time diagnosis we will get from some other investigations rather than the epithelial cells in the urine so these are all the three types of cell where commonly these cells goes above a particular value so this is how these squamous cells appear in the urine the squamous cells are mostly in the contamination and this is how a renal tubular epithelial cells can appear only if they are mentioned the type we can in spread but most of the urine routine microscopy report they might not mention the type of epithelial cells they will just mention the values for example if it is very high for example 40 to 100 if they are mentioned you have to interpret based on the clinical clue why the test being done for example a 25 year old male with a burning micturition and a fever probably it could indicate uti because you have to presume it could be because of uti most likely it might be transitional epithelial cells suppose if it is based on a 65 year old male with the symptoms of hematuria a chronic loss of weight loss of appetite you have to say it could be malignancy the subtle part you have to pick it up because it might be a transitional cell in the urine that could be the uh, clinical clue you will get for example there is no symptom at all and the epithelial cells are for example 20 to 30 per high power field it could be a sign of contamination so this is a subtle clue that you can get from the urine epithelial cell report in the urine routine microscopy analysis and suppose if we want to get to know regarding this epithelial cells you have to order the investigation to give more detail regarding this type of cell to the pathologist who is analyzing that we have to send a separate sample to analyze the characteristic of this epithelial cells but mostly the clue we will get from other investigation in the form of ultrasound or biopsy or urine culture or clinical response that is why most of the time epithelial cells apart from adding the clue it might not give much information to the particular diagnosis okay i have found this epithelial cells i have made this diagnosis that won't occur it will guide you to a particular clue along with that other values for example the pus cells in the urine the ultrasound report the patient age bladder finding in the ultrasound or if patient urea creatinine is there any derangement in the urea creatinine how is the overall function of the kidney everything have to be interpreted and this epithelial cell value have to be interpreted in a normal healthy adult up to 15 can be common even if it is high it might signify the contamination rather than any significant abnormality so this is all regarding urinary epithelial cells there are three type of cells squamous transitional and the renal tubular epithelial cells up to 15 per high power field is common you have to ask the pathologist to comment upon the further characteristic of the cells if you want to 
have a detailed analysis of these epithelial cells which clinically most of the time we won't do as we will get the diagnosis with some other investigation relevant investigation with mcq point of view they might ask what is the normal value and they might ask increase in the transitional cells to a very high value might indicate transitional cell tumor out of these squamous transitional renal tubular cell which might be more of pathological renal tubular cells might be more of a pathological one transitional cells mostly in uti also it rise squamous contamination bye bye we'll see you in the next video tomorrow